What's up guys, I'm Tech Steve. In today's video, I wanna see how good a $10 unlimited talk, text, and one gig data plan is. Now, the reason I came up with this is because a lot of people spend a lot of money on cell phones, so this may be something that will work for you in certain situations. Now, the reason I did this is because I use a few demo phones and I just need a second line just to activate the phones and do some other things. So if it's something for you guys, sit back and relax, and let's get started. <music> Now, first of all, I want to tell you guys, I'm not getting paid by anyone to make this video. This is just some research that I want to do to see how well this works. Now, this is Unreal Service, and what I understand, it works off of Sprint's network. So if you're in an area that has a lot of Sprint coverage, you should be fine, but I'm going to take it out and compare it to my other phone to see how well the signal is and how well the data pick up. If you're a little bit more heavier user, there's a two gig plan for $15 and a larger plan with five gigs for $30. Since I'm going to activate this for the first time, you guys will see all the different things I'm going to go through to activate it. And at the end of it, let's do some test calls. So when you're using this service, there's a few things that you need to know. First of all, you need to have an unlocked phone or you can go to their website and browse through their different selection of phones. Now, an unlocked phone is like a phone that can work on just about any networks. There's CDMA, which is on Verizon and Sprint, and there's GSM that works on T-Mobile as well as AT&T. You still have the other ones out there like Metro PCS and Cricket Service. The phone I'm going to be using today is an unlocked Samsung Galaxy S9. And if you have a phone that's been connected to a previous service like this one, which is AT&T, you'll need to contact them with the unlock code so you can use it on another carrier. When I bought this kit at the store, it was about $10, but that includes a SIM card and there could be an activation fee that applies as well. Let's go and open this up to see what's inside. And as you can see, I started opening this up but let's go and rip into it. And this is what they call a SIM card starter kit. Now this is a universal SIM card, so there's a punch out for a full size SIM card, your medium, and also your nano. And this is the website that we'll be going to. Now if you notice it says APN, and what that is is access point name. The reason that's important is that whenever you program a phone on another carrier, it doesn't have all the settings for that carrier. So the APN programs the phone so it can work on different networks. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the SIM card from this phone to see what size it is. And if you don't have the original SIM card removal tool, you can use something like a paper clip like this. Also, you want to make sure that the phone is turned off before you start this process. Now each phone is different, but I'm going to take this and put it in the SIM card slot and press down. Then after you pull this down, I can tell this is a nano SIM card. Now I know the nano is just the size of a SIM card, so I'm gonna break all of these pieces out to get that SIM card right there. And once it's flush, I can now insert it back into the phone. Now with the SIM card inserted, we need to go to the website and activate it. What you'll need is the ESN number, which is on the box or in the settings of your phone, and you're gonna need the SIM card number, which is on the package over here. So here's the home page, and now I'm going to activate the device right here at the top. Now they do have some online tools here, like if you click here, it can give you a rough idea how to find your IMEI number, but some of the newer phones you can't take the battery out, so you must find it from the software. It shows you what to look for on the SIM card. Also the IMEI number on a hotspot if you want to add that to your service. I'm going to go ahead and enter all this information and then I'll be right back. Now here comes my first hiccup. I put my IMEI number in the system and I got this message so I need to call this 855 number. Now I wonder if they're going to try to upsell me but I just want the $10 plan to see how it works. So so far it's been about 9 minutes and I'm still on hold which is not common but if you're trying to set up new service you probably want to have a quicker or a dedicated line to activate it right away. Now the reason I think it's not activating all the way is because this phone is a Verizon GSM slash CDMA phone. So it may need a couple other different things they need to get it activated. Thank, thank you for calling at Real Mobile. This is uh, Brick. And uh, may I know who am I speaking with? Oh hi, my name is Steven. Zero one one seven. So I put the phone on mute. It took almost 12 minutes to answer the phones, but that's not too bad so far. Let's continue, see what happens. Actually, I'm filming a video as we speak right now. 
and I want to do the ten dollar plan. No, I have. This is not my main phone. I'm a YouTuber. Well, I'm not trying to waste your time, but I've actually been on your website. I have everything and I've researched it for what my needs are. I only need a $10 plan just for what I'm trying to do with it. Can you, can you tell me, um, okay, do I have to do all that over the phone? Cause I'm trying to do it to you through your website, but it's not working. And okay, and the ten dollars a month gives me unlimited talk, text, and one gig of data. Is that correct? Yes, each one for for ten dollars. And if you go over the data plan, is it just slow down, or is there um, additional charges? Okay, thank you. I'm gonna try this out. If it works good for me, I'll get that other SIM card for my iPad. Yeah, but, but for now, I wanna try out the service. Um, the SIM card is good for only today because we don't normally give this out for one cent. Original price is twenty dollars. No, I did. I I got too much going on. I don't wanna to have to follow up with it. So oh. I don't care to pay the twenty dollars for the SIM card if it comes down to it. Okay, thank you for your help. Okay. So that was pretty painless, actually. The guy was nice. It took about nine minutes after the phone, and it totally took 20 minutes to activate the SIM card. Now, the interesting thing is that on the computer, it's asking for my IMEI number to see if it's compatible, but he didn't care about that. He just said, download the application and insert the SIM card. So I assume this will work on just about any phone if you swap it out to another device. An interesting thing that happened once I turned the Samsung phone on, it knew that it was on a different carrier, so it's going to remove the previous applications and add the ones for the new carrier. Now mind you, this phone is connected to Wi-Fi at the time of this uh, video. So here's what I learned so far is that it will work with Sprint CDMA and the uh, GSM service on phones that use only SIM cards is actually powered by AT&T. Who would have known? And another thing, since my phone rebooted, my phone erased everything that was Verizon. Everything inside of this software now is all AT&T. It happened automatically just by changing that SIM card. So if you look here under the menu system, it also downloaded the mobile security and call protection, which is pretty interesting. After rebooting, the phone is all set up and ready to go except for one thing. It will not make phone calls until we change the APN. Now keep in mind, all these instructions are on the package that the SIM card comes in. So let's follow the instructions for Android and see if we can get up and running. And there's instructions for iPad or iPhones if you need it. So on the Samsung phone, I'm gonna press connections, mobile networks, access point names. Then you will press add, press on APN and type this into it. Then press save. Be sure you give it a name as well. Now choose Unreal as the new access point names. So after I rebooted the phone, I was able to get internet access, but you need the application to be able to set up your mobile number to receive calls and text messages. From your app store, just type in Unreal Mobile and go ahead and install it. And now the application is going to set it up for this Android device. Now you can use Unreal Messenger or you can use the built-in native app if you like. Well, it seems like it won't allow you to change the Messenger app to something else. So let's go ahead and press yes so we can move on. Now this is the important part right here. It needs to change all the settings in your phone to match up with their service. And go ahead and press allow. And then hit back. So I'm gonna go through these settings and just turn everything on so there's no problems. And then go ahead and press back when everything's checked off. Now with the app set up and all the permissions turned on, 
It can now receive phone calls and text messages. I'm so happy for $10. This is pretty incredible to be honest with you so far. Let me do a data test to let you know how fast the internet is without the Wi-Fi. Okay, here we go on the network. And both of these are getting LTE internet service. And because I'm in a building, I expect the internet to be a lot more slower, but it seems like the Unreal was only a little bit slower than the Verizon right there. So here's my conclusion. $10 a month, I get unlimited talk, text, and pretty much unlimited data just slows down after one gig which is a really good deal. Now, I'm gonna do some more tests off cameras, but so far, it looks like everything's working perfect. It was really easy to set up. So if you want more information, uh, just go to unreal.com, and I'll leave a link in that description below and check it out. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.